Hello there, so today I'll be covering a project called AI ApeCoin Fair Launch. At the moment, these guys are trying to launch within the pink sale a pre-sale itself. And as usual, I'll be doing my sort of like a deep dive into the project itself. And I'll be sharing with you all my thoughts and findings on the project itself. We'll start with investment proposal analysis, analysis, analysis of what we have in front of us within the pink sale, pre-sale itself. So at the moment, the project has audit badge, meaning that the contract was audited by a third party for any errors or mistakes. Uh, uh, they also have keys badge, meaning that one or more of the owners behind the project was doxed, just in case if there is any fraud. Now, uh, the pre-sale itself is 10 BNB soft launch, uh, meaning there is no limit to how much money they can raise. Downside to that, that uh, there might be no buying pressure later on. Now, at the moment, uh, the, there is almost 300 contributors, uh, and the total amount raised is 140 BNB. Now, the token itself, uh, AI Ape will have 1 billion tokens in total supply, 280 million of those tokens will be allocated for the pre-sale, 140 million for liquidity, and it is important to mention that only 51% of the raised funds from the pre-sale will be actually going towards the liquidity pool, meaning that the team will be keeping to themselves 49% of the raised funds. Now, uh, they also have affiliates program, so if you choose to invest, uh, you invest, uh, you generate a link with your wallet, you get a link. If people choose to invest through the link, you will get 5% on top of what they choose to invest. Now, uh, when it comes about token metrics, 28% for pre-sale, 14% uh, for liquidity, 20% for staking rewards, 12% for marketing, 10% for CX listings, 8% for NFT rewards, 5% to airdrops, 1% of the tokens will be unlocked, and 1.9% uh, of the tokens will be burned. Now looking further, uh, one of those sort of like things that could be called as a red flags, when it comes about all these portions that are locked, not even single one of them has any sort of like a vesting schedules, meaning that it will be unlocked in a single go. Now uh, when it comes about the audit, so there is no mint function found, owner cannot mint tokens after the initial deploy, owner can't change fees over 25%, owner can't set max transaction amounts, owner can't change trading status, and owner can't set blacklist wallets, excludes owners from using the token itself. Now, when it comes to other social media reach and presence, uh, these guys are on Twitter. As you can see, 11 tweets, uh, 13 people following, 19.6 thousand followers. Uh, they also have almost 13,000 subscribers within the Telegram. Now, going back into the pink sale policy itself, itself, so as I mentioned, they have audit and keys badge. Uh, so keys verification was done uh, by by the pink sale itself on two members of the team on March uh, 3rd, uh, 2023. As you can see with some cool log over there. Now, the audit, audit was done by Interfi Network. It did not load up this time, um, but the audit was done by them, and it's quite a standard contract, nothing special to it. Now, when it comes about the, the sort of like a project itself, uh, about the idea behind the project. So, once again, it's one of the uh, crypto-based projects uh, that will be uh, incorporating AI functionality uh, within their sort of like a products and services. And when it comes about those products and services, so the sort of like a, the usual idea is AI images. Uh, so uh, the use of artificial intelligence, a GPT bot to generate an image, uh, that's not the work uh, of uh, a human artist, some sort of like a AI generated images for NFTs and stuff like that, graphic design, that sort of like idea. And they'll also uh, have this AI GPT feature, a natural language processing tool, uh, that is driven by a technology that allows you to have a human-like conversations and much more with the chatbot. Uh, the language model can answer questions and assist you with tasks such as composing emails, essays, and codes. AI staking. Uh, so once again, uh, the project itself uh, will have will have staking incorporated. They mentioned that um, AI will essentially help 
uh, in simple terms, AI bot finds profitable price discrepancies across exchanges and defy liquidity pools, then bot uh, makes the trade and pockets the difference, improving liquidity in the process. And uh, open CNFT, so they are planning to release uh, something like a hundred of these unique AI ape NFTs, and that's all there is to it. They also have a roadmap, a tokenomics, and and uh, some pictures, some pictures of a team. Yeah, quite a nice apes. Now they also have they also have white paper, and they also have white paper. A little introduction about them. Uh, AI coin pre-sale. Uh, a little introduction about the sort of like a products and services that these guys will have and what it will do. They also mentioned that there will be up to 100% APE staking reward once it's launched. Uh, they also mentioning all the marketing sort of like activities that they plan to do. Uh, a little bit more details uh, that you can find within the pink sale pre-sale itself. Uh, small details about the roadmap, tokenomics. Uh, the team, uh, strategic partners, community tools, and all that stuff. And when it comes about the project as a whole, that is basically it. Now, when it comes about my sort of like a personal thoughts, findings, and opinions on the project itself, so starting right away with the pink sale pre sale itself, uh, as I mentioned, 49% of the raised funds for one reason or another will be going towards the team. So out of 142 BNB, basically you could say 70 BNB will be going towards the team. Uh, there might be a struggle to raise the price as everyone goes in early. Uh, there is no limitation to how much money uh, with uh, people can go into the pre-sale itself. Now when it comes about the pre-sale structure, uh, token metrics, so as I mentioned, none of these sort of like uh, functions uh, lock, uh, none of them are, are sort of like with the vesting schedules and stuff like that. Every single one of them will be unlocked in one go. And, you know, staking rewards, so these tokens in a sense will be coming back to you at some point. 12% will be used for marketing, 10% uh, for CX listing, NFT rewards, so I'm assuming NFTs will have some sort of like um, a staking feature in a sense attached to them, some sort of like a value generating attached to them, which is, which is quite nice. And and yeah, five percent in airdrops. Uh, quite a standard, quite a standard stuff. Uh, in a sense, in a sense, there will be quite a bit of tokens for which you already paid for, and that will be paid back to you. Uh, and yeah, that's about to it. Uh, when it comes about the pink sale, pre-sale itself. Now, when it comes about the project, when it comes about the products and services. So once again. Uh, the whole conversation the whole conversation is about ai and of course i tried their ai so everything everything in a sense is linked uh, is linked to telegram bot uh, to telegram bot that is linked to to gpt bot uh, that is open source and and in a sense you can ask any question you want or you can or, or you can type in slash image command and type sort of like a descriptions of what image you want to generate so once again a crazy cool ape nft colorful retro style this is what i got i tried again retro anim style whatever i tried cool image actor large word colorful uh some sort of like a picture from some random game uh homer simpson beer bar colorful got this picture uh then this picture this picture and then of course i tried i tried uh, the questions so once again it functions it functions just like any other stuff or just like google search wikipedia just you could say faster it finds the information faster can you actually sort of like a benefit from it oh who knows at this point it just functions like wikipedia so so within the website uh they present all these extremely cool images extremely cool images and and apparently with the help of ai technology uh with the help of the sort of like a what you'll be able to ma make all these images this bot is just sort of like making or or finding some sort of like a random stuff from internet the stuff that you see within their website someone was literally drawing painting and doing these things every single one of these images painting literally with hand with the photoshop and all the tools you can imagine for literally a few days it wasn't done with this ai bot 
to begin with. I mean, you know, look look at the stuff. Like literally, just just sit down and try to recreate what they have on the website. You won't be able to, because it wasn't done through this bot. It's as simple as that. So that's that. Now, when it comes about these sort of like products, as I mentioned, uh, the so-called AI GPT, uh, it's not developed by them. It's not their product. It's developed by someone else. Uh, that is releasing AI technology as an open source for everybody to use, for everyone to try. And majority of the crypto projects, just like this one, is trying to present that somehow this is their technology, this is their invention, and this is their product. It's not. So if we look at the stuff, AI image uh, that is based off uh, GPT, uh, artificial intelligence it's not their product they're just linking you to the group that is named the ai ape chatbot uh ai gpt uh, same stuff when it comes about the staking when it comes about the staking uh, so these two products are not even theirs uh, they just have the telegram when it comes about ai staking they mention that ai bot finds profitable price discrepancies across exchanges and defy liquidity pools now, let me tell you this, no one is gonna sit there and find, look for some sort of like a profitable price discrepancies across exchanges and or defy liquidity pools. Wanna know why? Because the staking contract will be just like any other staking contract that CryptoSpace had for the last four years or who knows how long. And why is that? Well. As you can see, staking reward is 20% and they'll be just paying back the tokens that are locked within the pre-seal. Uh, there'll, be, there'll be no some sort of like uh, scripts, programs, software, some sort of like uh, exceptional super duper triple super stuff that is doing some sort of like a magical calculations that in return end up you generating the profits you'll be receiving profits from the staking pool uh, that has 20 percent token allocation while it lasts now how long is it gonna last uh, we also have that answer because they gave it out then the uh, pink sale within the white paper itself so as they mentioned it the ap rates will be up to 180 percent now, what does that mean? So imagine imagine uh, uh, all the investors in total will have around 28% of the tokens from the pre-sale. Now, uh, the sort of like a usual thing within these sort of like a projects, as there is literally nothing else to do with the tokens, uh, you literally just take them unless unless there is some sort of like conditions to lock the tokens and there isn't and uh, you know you need to leave them for 30 days and you have this uncertainty fair and stuff like that but if there isn't some sort of like a conditions where you're forced to lock the tokens for something literally like 30 days everyone is taking 80 percent of people are taking let's say so let's say 23 percent of the total supply of those tokens will be locked in staking and assuming that if they want to pay out those 180% AP staking rewards, those 25% those, those of the people will go through this portion literally in 15 days. Now, of course, they mention up to 180% AP staking reward. Maybe maybe it will be at that rate, maybe it will be at a half rate, maybe it will be at 10%, who knows. But uh, that's the thing. There's no some sort of like um, some sort of like a script and stuff like that. This is this is nice a nice a nice sort of like uh, marketing mar marketing salad for you on on something that doesn't really exist and in reality in reality you'll be just receiving the um, the, the tokens from the staking rewards allocation within the pool itself. And, uh, you know, uh, these tokens not gonna last long unless, unless, uh, unless there's some sort of like, uh, there's some sort of like a business plan in place. Uh, if they plan to use, let's say, some sort of like a transaction fees, 
uh, teams funds to essentially just essentially buy back the tokens and stuff like that that staking portion is not gonna last long uh, open C NFTs a uh, hundred NFTs a hundred NFTs will be made of this of these of this so-called unique ape art uh, that I'm assuming that I'm assuming will have will have uh, uh, some sort of like a rewards allocated to them uh, as you can see eight percent uh, allocation is nft rewards so i'm assuming maybe they will have some sort of like a feature where in a sense you own the nft and nft can be considered as sort of like a staking every single day you'll be receiving some sort of like a portion of this nft reward staking pool um, which is fine which is fine uh, quite standard stuff but once again nothing new and uh, nothing new so so when it comes about this project in total uh let me tell you this uh the sort of like a technology and products that these guys are presenting as like a vast majority of any any other ai based projects within the crypto space that are coming out right now they are they are presenting to the customers uh this ai technology use as it's somehow made and done by them when it's not these chatbots that you see like literally this this is apparently their chatbot it's literally just a telegram group telegram bot uh, that that is 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 interacting with uh, that is interacting with uh, with that uh, ai artificial intelligence uh, of gpt that is open source and just and just reposting the answers uh, so uh, the sort of like a pro product is not theirs to begin with and it is also open source available for everyone to use when come when it comes about these ai ai based projects uh, as as cash grabs and scams go uh, within the crypto space everyone starts to do one thing and everyone else follows and at the moment we are in ai wave AI this, AI that, AI this and that and that. And everyone is doing that. It doesn't matter whether it does make sense, it doesn't make sense as long as it brings in money. The same goes with this project. So uh, the product is not theirs, it's open source. Uh, when it comes about the product itself, uh, the artwork that you're sort of like a let's believe that was maybe somehow made with the help of ai a bot and that's not the case you can try the bot yourself anyone can uh you'll get the pictures uh the pictures that you will get and they are nowhere near on a scale where you could actually sort of like use them as as a sort of like a business as a sort of like artist and stuff like that i mean you know it's a picture by all means it's a picture uh, it has some sort of like a reflection similarity to what I asked, but it's nowhere near where you could sort of like uh, do something with it. Uh, when it comes about a chat GPT, it answers the questions, right? So, so it answers my questions and what about it? How are you going to charge anyone for asking questions? There's Google search, there's Wikipedia, and there's a hundred different crypto projects that literally have same AI chatbots that you can't even sort of like a task um, char charge for. Now, when it comes about AI staking, as I mentioned, uh, there is a little bit of lies within the website itself. Uh, there is no, there is no some super duper brains that are actually sitting there uh, after after hundreds and hundred lines of script, sitting there looking for those profitable price discrepancies across exchanges and defy liquidity pools. Uh, that's not how things work. Uh, they will be simply taking the tokens from the staking rewards pool that will run out at some point. Uh, when it comes about the business plan, how to replenish it, um, I haven't seen one within the white paper. So I think I think I think the project is not sort of like a design to last long. Uh, truth to be told, and and open uh, see NFTs, uh, hundred NFTs that they will be releasing, a hundred NFTs with pictures that uh, someone was putting a lot of effort into uh, making pictures that are nice you know sort of like a creative you could say of uh, when it comes about these nfts um 
maybe they'll have some sort of like a staking feature attached to them maybe they won't who knows as you can see there will be creator earnings tax on them so they have they have in a sense this idea not just to sell the nfts but profit from the nft sales every single time they sell and yeah yeah those are the sort of like ideas uh those are the sort of like ideas uh not their products uh the products that they have uh made by someone else uh open source you can't uh, you can't finance them you can't sort of like uh, make anything profitable out of them at least at this point stage uh quite a bit of lies within the website itself and uh, nothing new uh, nothing new yeah and those are the thoughts on the project itself uh, those were, those are my personal thoughts and findings on on this on this project and that's all there is to it now by all means uh, feel free to agree with me disagree with me leave like comment dislike subscribe if you want and uh, that's all there is to it now by all means anything i say is not a financial advice uh, just my personal opinion only and that's all there is to it thank you for your time today